Hi, I'm John Fitzgerald and welcome to this week's edition of Team Wealth Builders. I want to talk to you today about game changes. <laughs> game changes. You know, I often talk about change and how you can see it as opportunity or a problem. And change is something that we've always got to be aware of and try and stay ahead of. It's like those changing demographics or changing little areas from a real estate perspective. I follow AFL. And the biggest change in the game in the last probably 10 years has been the interchange section. Uh, section. And I was traveling last year with the Gold Coast Suns who I uh, sponsor and get involved with. And I love getting involved with this young team, young team of, of champions. You wait and see them in, in the next couple of years. And when we went away to Arizona to their high altitude training camp last year, I sat in on some of their classes where they were talking about the statistics of the game, which I found fascinating because I'm a numbers person. And the number one statistic is the number of rotations that players make during a game, up to 130 rotations for the top teams per game. And the players have to learn to make those rotations. Now what's fascinating about that is that didn't exist six, seven years ago. So this has been a new addition to the game of AFL because of the demand and stress on players on their bodies that they just can't cope. So they increased the number of people on a team and said, okay, you can actually rotate them. And the players now rotate themselves. So these young players, Gold Coast Suns, are now learning how to actually rotate themselves. And instead of going and running out four quarters, they might be running for two, three minutes at a time and then off for 90 seconds, on for another three minutes at a time how things have changed and how you've got to change to be ahead of it. In real estate, there's some real game changes going on right now and they're so significant. I've never seen anything like it before because they're culminating into what I believe is going to be the biggest boom in Australian history. And let me talk about these game changes. First and foremost, you know we have a population shift. We have increased migration, and we have record population growth at the moment. Somewhere 350, maybe 400,000 per annum. That's our population growth at the moment. And that's murky because of students, 457 visas, special skilled workers, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So I don't know anyone's exactly sure on that number, but it could be somewhere between 350 and 400,000 per annum. Now, Skilled Australia, say we need to get to 630,000. So that's going to increase. And what's happening is the makeup of our households is changing dramatically. So that 30, 40 years ago, we had husband and wife and 2.4 kids per household. Today we have now single parent, maybe two kids or joint tenancies or parents living with their children, or, or, or all these sorts of demographic changes. And what's happening is our land size is getting smaller whilst our houses are actually getting bigger. So when I started in this business, the average size block was 1,000 square metres. Now we're developing blocks that are 175 square metres. Major game changer. Now, how it affects you and us in the wealth building is that the councils have all gotten onto it and said, okay, yeah, we can have now more than just a single dwelling or single occupancy per household. So in New South Wales, anything above 450 square metres, you can put a granny flat in the backyard, provided they have separate access. Now that's the start of the relaxation. And Queensland and Victoria are bringing new regulations as well to reduce the land size. So you typically might have had a four or five or 600 square metre block. You might get now two or three tenancies on that block. And why that is important is because it means within the next two to three years, any property in excess of three, four, five hundred square metres, approximately, in, depending on the council you're in, could become cash flow positive with minor renovations or minor changes to the council's bylaws. And this is a major, major game changer. Now we're doing dual occupancies in some councils where we've got on a typical standard block, and it might be a 450, 500 square meter block, we've got a three bedroom and two bedroom house that functions as basically one house, but two tenancies. 
Now, that means that the return you are going to get, listen to this, is 6.5%. 6.5%. Why is that important? Because you can borrow today at 6%. You can lock in a fixed rate under 6% today. And those rates are coming down. This is amazing. It means you can be cash flow positive today. And any one of you who has property over the last three, four, five years should be cash flow positive today because the census, what really did bear out in the census is that our households are now forming differently. And the second thing was that our rents have grown by 50% in the last five years, 50%. So we haven't had the major growth in property. We have had growth, but not the major growth, but our rents have grown and will continue to grow. Now with interest rates coming down and coming under 6% is a benchmark. The fixed term rate under 6% is a benchmark and is a game changer. It changes the whole affordability of Australian property. And that leads me to the major game changer from my perspective on the drawing board, and that is foreign banks coming into this country. Sony Bank of Japan and Mitsubishi Bank of Japan are both doing feasibility studies on getting into the Australian market. Now, they wanna do discount home loans. Discount home loans. Imagine a four point something percent home loan. Imagine what that would do to affordability and the price of property. Why are they getting into Australia? They're getting into Australia because our main four banks are the most profitable banks in literally all of Asia, nearly all the world. And they're realizing we're gonna get into this market because they're lending money in Japan for maybe three or 4%. So why wouldn't they lend money here above 4%? Now, that's a game changer that could be introduced to Australia in the next one, two, three years. Watch out for that. You're going to see the biggest boom in Australian history. Think about all of these things, game changers. How can you be on top of it? How can you be ahead of it? And look forward to a very exciting future. And it's happening right now. Thanks for listening to me.